So, it has been a long, long grind. I'm talking between like 10 and 12 hours of grinding. But I finally have my hands on the Bark, which is the new ship in Season 1 for Skull and Bones. And what we're going to do in this video is go through my build. If you guys want to get in for me faster, to get smuggler points faster, there are videos on the channel. So if we first take a look at this ship in the Codex, you're going to see it's a support ship. So it is specialized in aiding friendly ships. The support excels in providing assists that can help turn the tide of a battle. It's the exact same ship type as the Cutter. And then when it comes to the perk, it restores 0.5% of your severe damage and your hull health per second. And that's as well as for nearby friendly ships. It restores 15% of stamina, 10% severe damage, and 60% more of your hull health on a friendly ship while using a repair weapon. It starts at ship rank 5. It's got 36,000 health. The brace strength is 7,200. A speed of 11 knots, trimming 15 knots, 70,000 cargo and 100 stamina. Then your loadout, you have your bow, your broadside, stern, and auxiliary. Then you have 5 furniture slots as well. And this is also quite expensive to craft. You're going to need a precision drilling bit, cogwheel, screw mechanisms, zinc ingots, green heart planks, roselle cloth, and magnetite ingots, alongside 12,000 silver. So in order to get your hands on this, you have to reach rank 45 in the Smuggler Pass. And if we have a look, I've put mine to rank 11. This build is going to be if you're using this ship solo, because even though it is a healer, you can use it solo because it heals itself. It's just you're not going to be able to use repair weapons like the repair bombards when you're playing solo because you can't actually heal yourself with repair weapons. So if we go into manage ship, the way I've got this set up is with the five weapons, I have the Skurlock's long nines on, so that whilst I'm chasing, I can rip sails. I've then got the Dardanelles gun, I have the Fire Bombard Tier 3, at the back I've got Rama's Legacy, and in the auxiliary slot I have the, I'm going to call it the Le Flow. I'm going to do a separate video on this weapon because it's very, very expensive, and it's also new with Season 1. In terms of the armor, I'm running the Wailing Ward, which again is a Season 1 armor kit. Going into the details, you will see that it's toxic resistance, so it reduces damage and crew stamina depletion from toxic attacks by 50%. And it's got Agile Guard, so it reduces crew stamina depletion at the start of bracing by 40%. Then when it comes to the furniture, you can obviously set it up exactly how you want it, but in my major slot, I've got the Rope Locker, just to increase that acceleration. You could, if you're, like, if you're running co-op and you're actually using this ship for repairing allies, then I would put something on like the first aid station because it increases the repair amount of weapons by 30% for ships that have less than 33% health. Then in my second slot, I have Bombard Powder House and then I've got Bombard Works just because I'm running this ship solo. Then I've got Mortar Powder House and I've also got the Double Planked Hull, which is really, really important to increase that hull health by 5%. And then again, if you're in a group, you can run something like the Joinery Workshop to increase the repair amount from repair weapons by 10%. But yeah, this ship is like primarily designed for co-op play to use the repair weapons to buff them up as much as you can. However, because I'm playing solo, I don't need any repair weapons. And that is exactly how I've got it set up. So what we're going to do now is we are going to set sail and we are going to find a couple of enemies. We're at the necropolis over on the right side of the map. And what I'm going to do is show you the repairing ability of this ship. Okay, so we have a group of DMC. If I just attract them and get their attention, we've got towers and stuff here as well. So the aim here is to actually take some damage, but I don't want to take too much. So hopefully they start attacking. There we go, take some damage. And you can even repair whilst you're in combat. So I'm going to brace this because we've taken quite a lot of damage. And another thing I really, really like about this ship, it's got 15 knot trimming speed, which is one knot faster than most ships in the game. But just look at the design of it. I absolutely love that crane at the back of it. I, do, I think they've done so well with the design of this ship. So you'll see, as we are sailing away, we are slowly getting our health back. I'm going to try and get out of combat now, just so that we're not being attacked anymore. And then we'll sit there and we'll have a look at the healing. You can kind of see at the, there's like a green sort of vignette, like at the borders of the screen. Every now and then you'll see it glow green. And I think that's a sign that it, uh, like it's basically showing you that you're healing. So uh, yeah, I've kind of annoyed more uh, DMC. But even whilst you're in combat, you are still healing the whole time. 
And not only that, even whilst you're trimming, the stamina is really, really good on this ship. It lasts, I'm going to say, as long as like the Padua Kang and the snow. Like, there's nothing like the brig. The stamina actually lasts. And yeah, you'll see, I've just been sailing around. I've still got the DMC after me, and we are back to full health. And the damage, even though it's not a DPS ship, is still not bad. So I have used zero repair kits. You'll see that I do not have to repair the ship, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad they put a medium healing ship in the game. And that was a look at my build for the Bark, the new ship that's coming to Skull and Bones in Season 1. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this ship in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.